episode of Shining the Light on episode 34. Therese, how are you? Well, it's been a weird week. I think we can all agree yeah. <laughs> that this week was like so far, what it's Wednesday right now. But yeah. I feel like the energy of this really actually started last week and is carrying over yeah. into this week for sure. But I feel yes. like this week is sort of the week of like, whatever was culminating last week has come to fruition, like come to fully roost right now. Oh yeah. Um, don't you think? Um, a hundred percent. It's a lot to handle. I see a lot of people, everyone's kind of hitting a breaking point where they're like enough. Like I can't take mm-hmm. this anymore. And I feel like I was saying to you before we got on camera, I just feel like the thread that I'm seeing with this energy is it's literally touching on a raw nerve in people. Yeah. So everyone's got a different raw nerve. It's about a different thing, yeah. but whatever that thing is, is being like touched right now. It's so true. It is. And and we can all relate in our different ways. And, and I think this is where, this is why we're going to have this conversation today and like tap into the energy of the year 2024 Um, because it's going to be, it just feels like it's going to be a really big year. I think we're going to finally hit the collective precipice in 2024. And I think some big things are finally going to happen that are going to really affirm what we already have kind of been anticipating is going to happen and continue to happen as we head into phase two, ideally in 2024 of this plan of this ascension of this cleanup evolution whatever you want to call it um so we wanted to spend a whole like episode really reading the energy and I should change yeah there we go yeah so it's okay so let's start with just the numerology of it yeah so 2024 in and of itself is a an eight year and it's a pure eight so you're going to take a two plus a two plus a four right and you get eight um, so it's not a combination of like a double number, like a 17, eight would be a different type of energy. Yes. This is pure eight with a pure eight energy. What we're looking at is manifestation. So in the cycle one through nine, which is how numerology is based on the numbers one through nine uh, with a few master numbers thrown in, but we're, we're looking at a cycle and that one through nine represents the stages of a manifestation, right? When you hit the number eight, you hit what's called materialization. That means whatever you've been working to manifest has now come into the physical plane. So this number is about a physical manifestation of whatever the energetics have been specifically over the last eight years. So this started eight years ago. And now I got to think, been a spicy eight years in the United States. <laughs> right. Wasn't that when Trump started like eight years ago? Okay. So now we're at this point right now where the physical manifestation of everything that has been going on behind this, the, the curtain is going to be in front, out in front for people to see. Um, it Eight also represents the number of karma. And so it really is about whatever you've put out there is what you're getting back. Right. And I feel like there's a couple ways to read this because karma for everyone, it's not going to be selective karma, but that doesn't mean it's the same type of karma. Right. Right. So for those who have been enduring and have been looking at things and been trying to change their ways and like, you know, for example, like with food, Amber and, and uh, you know, Amber shares a lot about what's going on in the food industry and like, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of ways that you can address it or sort of combat it, even though it's prevalent and out there, there's ways around it, right? Mm -hmm. If you're a person who's been eyes open to that and going, okay, how do I change my lifestyle since this exists? It's like, you could either rail against the fact that it exists, which doesn't really do anything, or you can take corrective measures on your own behalf to make a better choice. So for those people who have been seeing what's happening in the world and started making different choices in their life because of that, you're going to start seeing a, a, like a return, a karmic return on the choices you've made. So some good things coming in from that. Maybe we're going to see like in terms of food, we're going to finally see some food restrictions, especially in the United States that we haven't been seeing. Like, why are we a country that has over 130 banned foods in every other country, but we're still eating that shit. You know why? It's not much different, but yeah, totally. Right. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say an action taking in those kinds of ways and also action taking 
with your budget, because here's one thing that we did a couple weeks ago where I'm looking at the grocery bill. Cause yeah, there's certain things that you can tell are like more than they used to be. And then I'm like, sure. Let me, and, and I know never, not everyone may have access to this, but like, Hey, maybe your neighbor has chickens and they have eggs and they'll sell them to you for like dirt cheap. Right. And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to actually look at my local grocery delivery service. That is a locally owned company. And I'm going to compare the pricing and see if there's any difference or if it's more or less or what. Yeah. So I filled my cart just like I would with the regular grocery store. And this local delivery is all organic, like non sprayed, all this stuff. I add all the stuff. It's 50 to $75 less a week than wow. the main store, because of course the main stores can inflate into all the BS because people don't know any better and they're so big, they can do it. Right. But the small locally owned cannot do it because they would not survive. Right. right. See, most people would assume that it's the other way around. Exactly. Spending more. Wow. Yeah. That no, is such a good hack. Less. There were maybe two products that were a little bit more. I'm like, but it's worth it because everything else is less. And when you subscribe and get most of the same things every week, you save 5% and they yeah. were very diligent on one thing that needed to be refunded and they did it right away. So like they're on with their customer service. So it's like, yeah, why would you keep giving and going to that place when you can save now 50, $75 a week, that's a significant amount of money to save every month. Right. For so sure. it's like not only the changing the way you eat and like becoming aware of ingredients and things, but like you may even get a better rate. Maybe you can go buy a quarter cow from your neighbor and get it way cheaper than the meat at the grocery store. So also start looking at like, who do you know in your community, your town, your city, rural, that like, you could go and source some things from, and you know that you're going to get a better deal. And then we're creating this local economy, right? And then we become less reliant on these big systems that are, you know, crumbling anyways. So right. So what we might see is that if uh, in the year 2024, you might actually see that those things coming to fruition, like more of a stronger mm. local economy because yes. of the choices that people have made. You know what yes. I mean? Where right now it's like, am I the only one making this choice? And you're in 2024, you're most likely going to see yeah. the outcomes of choices. So, and this includes negative choices. So if we're right. making negative choices, we're going to see those too, but in the bigger scope, if we're going to look at it from like good guys, bad guys yeah. kind of point of view. Um, so karma is coming for everyone. Good karma and bad karma, whatever karma you have energized, you're going to yes. receive it. Great. Um, so if you feel like I'm tired of the world crapping on me when I do the right thing, just keep doing the right thing yes. because the return is coming. It can't, yes. it can't go that way for that much longer. And I know that you know, some of us are really battle fatigued with this, yeah. everything that's going on. It's like, it's too yes. much. It's been taking too long. We got to remember this has been going on for a long time. Oof. Like, yes, we're talking, you know, in some cases, hundreds of years, possibly thousands. If you yeah. look at the roots of it, like how it all began. Yeah. It's you're looking so at deep. Root, deep roots. That doesn't mean it can't be undone, but it just means like, okay, just because we're aware of it doesn't mean we can snap our fingers and change it. It's going to yeah. take a minute. But this year, 2024, we're going to actually see some traction, some outward traction instead of it being absorbed or hidden. It's going to be in our face, which um, for those of us who know what's coming, we're going to be like, yes, like finally. And some for those who don't are going to be like, oh my God, you know, like what the hell is this? Yeah, totally. You know, I, it's like, um, for example, right now, I mean, the world stage, the way it's looking, you're going to see a lot of global upset. You're going to see a lot of governments changing hands. Uh, Argentina was awesome. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> that good. I love it. And I love how he was wearing the mega hat. And I love how he was just like, F all the stuff and like how they're like, oh, they can count all those ballots in one night, but they can't do Arizona. Like, right. I, it, it takes part, like a week. You can yeah. see like part of the movie. And I love how they're already getting rid of income tax. Like it's amazing. Right. It's so amazing. It's like, so have hope. Hold on. Yes. It's just starting. Yes. But there is some stuff that's going to look really bad before it looks a lot better. Right. Totally. Um, 
But like with Argentina, just really quick, I saw this really funny meme where it was like, do you know who Ron Swanson is? Are you familiar with the TV show Parks and Rec? Okay. Oh. For those who like that show, who watched it, I used to love it. Uh, Ron Swanson was this very libertarian guy who like wanted to destroy the government. And oh. someone was like, oh man, Argentina, <gasps> Argentina nice. got Ron Swanson as their president. <laughs> lucky. Like, yeah, it's, it's so lucky. But anyway, um. So you're going to see a lot of turnover. I mean, there's some, I'm hearing things about Poland. I'm just trying to understand yeah. what's going on there. That's going to get messy. Mm -hmm. uh, the Middle East just gets messier. It does not get better quickly. It gets messier, yeah. which is like, you know, yeah, we're, we're going to see uh, like things like NATO breaking down. Now NATO has got bad karma attached to it. So you're going to see mm -hmm. that kind of thing implode. You're going to see things where, um, groups like the World Economic Forum, we're probably going to see something there. The Bye. WHO, we're probably going to see something there. I mean, Bye. these are, yeah, the negative have infiltrated these and yeah. work through these groups. So you're going to see that kind of karmic return. And don't forget, the Epstein saga is just about Oof. to pop open. open like we and when yeah. that happens what the heck you know like all we just don't know what kind of worms and stuff are going to come out of all of that we're ready um we're freaking ready man like right so but again eight is a number about this physical manifestation coming forward so all that all that is hidden that's supposed to be seen you know, so all that's been talked about, but you never actually see right out there. Like, it's like, did this happen yeah. or not? Um, those things will be seen, I believe. Totally. I agree. Um, so that's huge. There's some stuff in, you know, as I'm talking about this, my team is like, you'll also see some stuff in 2025. Um, 2025 is going to be a different type of energy year. It's going right. to be the year of like the return of humanity. Humanity gets to yeah. be front and center. And so it's going to be good, but there's also going to be like, it, to think that this all gets cleaned up in the year 2024, I think is a naive assumption. No, as yeah. much as I want that, as much as I'd be like, wrap it up, like just yeah, put it together, get wrap done. it up. It's not quite that. It's more like no. the most um, intense part of the movie, right? So usually the final battle scene in a movie is like the most intense, right? It's yeah. like you see the heroes like getting knocked off of things and like, oh, you know, like there it's like, who's going to win this. It's going yeah. to feel a lot like that. Although we know that the good side has already won. Yeah. Like the light wins, you know, spoiler alert, we win things yeah. get better, but first you're going to see the biggest battle scene you've seen. And some people can go, okay, well that's world war three. If you want to call it that, but again, it's more of a psychological war. Yeah. There is, physical components to it for sure. Yes. Um, but there is more psychology to it than maybe, you know, we realize it's more psychological still than physical. Yeah. Totally. Um, and but it, it's really intense. So. Psychological and I guess it's psychological, but like the movie, like we honestly, I was saying this to Hubs the other day. I'm like, we don't know how much of what we're seeing is CGI computer generated, edited, like, it's just, right. you don't know how much is AI and CGI versus actually real. And then all the fake actors and filming. Right. So it's like the discernment so, piece is so huge, you know, without, and again, I, I absolutely agree. It's really hard to track. I don't want to invalidate anybody's no. experience, but I would say we need to take the models of, um, we need to look at what the team said about the big explosion that goes off and also use yeah. the model of 9-11, right? Yeah. So 9-11 was a CGI slash real event. Buildings did collapse. That, that's yeah. not a lie. They, they're they gone. They yeah. were there. They're not there. So we know that's true. Yeah. How they collapsed, that's where they manipulated it. That's where there was yes. a psychological operation, right? There was a type of CGI involved, the people on the ground, the footage that they did not release. It took what? Um, it's 2023 that happened yeah. 22 years for them to show all the footage of the people on the yeah. ground saying, I saw Matt, like groups of explosions going yeah. off. I heard boom, 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 boom. And they were like, you could see the detonations going down the building. That was not released to the American public at the yeah. time that that happened. All of that was scrubbed. It was kept away. 
The only stories that were told were stories of people seeing a plane go in. Now, were those actors, were they told to say that, yeah, you know, did, did, was there something, was there a hard light hologram used that made it look like that? People talk about how the building, the plane went into the building and a, the plane is not made of a strong enough metal to breach a steel bar, which is, right. you know, the steel bars of the building. Yeah. Not only that, but even how the plane crashed in the building the way that the CGI model crashes, it like, I can't remember if it went right through and that's not possible. Yeah. It would be like more like it would break down against right. it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so the thing is, is when you can get people into a heightened state of fear, you can tell them anything and their yes. mind will justify it. Totally. Yeah. So Right. So what Amber is saying, I concur. It's like, we don't, we just don't know because yeah. we're not there physically present. No. And those who are physically present, are we hearing from them? Because like I said, with this big explosion, they, they will plan to detonate some kind of explosion. It will not be a nuclear bomb, but yeah. it will make a big yeah. explosion. And then all you have to do is show it to the people who weren't there as you know, you can heighten it, you can mushroom cloud it, you can, you know, and what you'll get is you'll get eyewitnesses who saw an explosion and then you'll lay on top of that, the story you want people to believe. Yeah, yeah totally. And that's right. where discernment, intuition, and really like getting grounded are important so that you, you don't end up in that reaction. And then you're asphyxiated. I have a, a colleague and we were talking back and forth a few weeks ago and she's like, my mental health is so impacted by everything going on in the in Israel and stuff I'm like I'm so sorry to hear that she's like I can't stop watching videos it's disturbing me it's impacting my mood my day I feel depressed and I'm like why don't you take a break because what good is it doing you to watch it all like I don't right. I have all the compassion in the world I can't imagine my heart goes out but like it's doing you no good in your life living your life to keep consuming it all right, right. I mean so, I think so there's something that happens when we're in fight or flight where yeah. we believe we have to stare at the thing to somehow yeah. protect ourselves from it. It is like a prey instinct to stare. Yeah. You know what I mean? To like yeah. keep your eye on it. Cause you're afraid. Like if I take my eyes off of this, then the danger can consume me. Right. Yeah. Um, but that's part of the psychological operation because yeah. how do they manifest what they want to manifest? They get you to think about it. Exactly. So. But, and then when you're thinking about it, then you're starting to act from the place of as if it is. Yeah. And that's changing your behavior. Right. right. So, yeah, we have to be more uh, mindful of the fact that if it's bothering you that much, you need to step away. Yeah. That's not going to protect you to continue to, to engage with it. No, um, boundaries is important. And that's one of Amber and I's goals is just to share with you our perspective to help, you know, if this helps you hearing this. And helps you feel like, okay, it's going to be okay. And I can step back. And if that's what you need to do to maintain grounding and balance and calm in yourself, then that's the best thing you can do. It does. Yeah. It's not going to be of service to the greatest good for us to give our attention, energy, and emotions to something we don't want. Yeah, exactly. Just like me earlier with the whole house thing. It's like, no, I'm, now I'm going to shift and focus again on what I want. So Right. Let's get into some questions. Yeah, let's do that. So the first question is, what is the energy of 2024? All right. So I'm going to do what I did last time and I'm going to do the whole mind, body, spirit levels. Yeah. So we can, so we can do, so we're going to do the whole year. We're going to cut it into three chunks. Okay. So we're going to look at the overall energy okay. of 2024 first, or do you want to just go right into the chunks? Whatever you feel. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm getting like, let's just do a snapshot yeah, real totally. quick overview. Okay. So what is the pervasive energy of 2024? Yeah, 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 yeah. Money is people are not going to be happy. Financial money stuff really does come to the forefront. So it looks like, so if you're not following like uh, news that talks about like the banking system collapse coming through, that's something you might want to look at. Just you know, like getting yeah. curious about it. I wouldn't get scared, but you're going to see the collapse of that system. That system is key 
has to collapse in order for yeah. the negative group to stop getting its funding. Like it has to fully collapse. Yes. Um, what that looks like, not quite sure yet. You know, like there's a, everybody's got a, everybody's got sort of a take on it. Um, but it's not really clear what's yeah. really going to play out yet. Just like totally. we didn't know what the whole deal with, you know, the resident in the white house being <laughs> so exactly. Totally. So yeah, that All makes right. sense. So on the mental position, we've got the knight of discs or pentacles, uh, in reverse. And what this is talking about is unstable feelings around money <laughs> and possibly employment too, uh, but money first, more, more than money. So again, we don't feel very stable uh, about the money. And then on the physical plane, we've got the four of pentacles coming up also in reverse position. And this is the power card. So obviously there's going to feel like uh, like a loss of financial power, a loss of position, a loss of control over money on the physical plane. So again, for people, for everybody in general, it's feeling like this is happening to you. I don't really, I can't control that because it's happening on the banking level, right? It's not your personal account, but it will affect you. And that's going to affect the ability to afford some things, right? Or the prices of things go up or, you know, situations where money's involved with banks. It's like, you just want to look at that. You want to know like that's actually on deck. That's that's like part of the plan moving forward. However, um, we also don't know how long we stay there. We just know this is the one of the bigger like umbrella yeah. issues that people go through. Um, so on the spiritual plane, what this kicks off is a reassessment period inside of everyone. We got to figure out, okay, if this doesn't work. What are we going to do? Like, how, how, how do we deal with this? How do we make it work? Um, again, it's hard to know where this hits. Like for some people in like 2009, right. In the United States, we had that recession and it was like, it, you might not have owned a home at that time where it was fe felt the most, especially for people who had those bad mortgages. Um, but it affected people in weird ways. Like my husband worked in finance at that time and it affected his job, affected everybody's job in finance. Um, so there is this weird like trickle down that happens. You don't know how it's going to affect you. You just know you're going to feel it. And as you feel that, then the, the general, um, collective consciousness is turning towards this doesn't work. What are we going to do to fix it? And that's where everybody starts going, yeah. which allows the new systems to be ushered in that are actually not connected to these dark nefarious yeah. groups anymore. Hold back baby. Right. So there's the general take on it. It's a, geez, that doesn't feel very reassuring getting ready to buy a house and have a bigger mortgage trees. I'm sorry, but it's like, a you know, that's coming. It's again, it doesn't necessarily affect you in the way you think. No, it might. we're going to freaking rock it next year. Right. And so also have, have a plan around it already. If you don't, right. Like, so I know, and I'm, again, I'm not a financial strategist, so I can't tell anyone like what you should yeah. do, but maybe you have cash aside that you, mm. you don't have cash aside. Maybe you get some cash aside. Maybe you don't have physical gold and silver, but you get a little bit of that, like yeah. diversify where your money is yeah. because at the banking level is where it's funky. Now I've heard stories, so we could like start thinking in ways that's more positive, but I have heard stories where it's like, there's this blip, you can't access your money for a minute, but then you can. not And then it's like, you might lose these funds and it looks like, oh my God, I lost them forever. And then they actually come back and you get all the interest yeah. back and all that stuff. So don't get too caught up in the fact that it's going to fall apart. Focus more on how do we, what do we change it to? Mm -hmm. Right. And so that you can get in tune with your own um, discernment about where's the right way to go. Yeah. Yeah. Because all, that. each side will offer its solutions. We don't want the dark side solutions. We do yeah, not we want their, 
digital currency system with the digital IDs and the social, you know, social uh, tracking and stuff. You don't want that. And the word that's coming in is bartering. I feel like there's going to be so much more bartering. Like I said, you may trade something with the neighbor, something they have that you need and you need eggs Mm -hmm. from them or like whatever, you know what I mean? Like Mm -hmm. you just never know what beautiful things are going to come out of the circumstance. Right. So um, going into this year, having a little bit of a plan around it is good. And it's again, don't get too, don't get too freaked out by it. Don't give your energy to scary scenarios. Just know that this is on deck. And this is one of the major themes of 2024 because eight is also a money number, right? It is the money number. So yeah, it can represent abundance. I mean, eight, if you flip an eight on its side, it's the infinity symbol, right? So what goes in must come back. Like it's, Maybe Always we'll jump a timeline and skip it and it just won't happen. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I know it is part of it. Maybe our alien friends will come and they'll be like, hold on, let me just put you up here for a year and you'll yeah. be fine. <laughs> yeah. I'd great. love that. <laughs> Anytime, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So now what what's the next question? So are we gonna read through the first four months of the year, the second four, and the third four? Or are we gonna go into just the next question overall uh well look at the time and just let me know what you have time we have for about we might 15 have... minutes let's skip the the sections okay. and yeah. then we can go back and do that if you guys if you want to hear about each yeah. um, quarter of 2024 leave a comment for us below so yeah. that we know and if you like that then we can go in and revisit and do a whole video yeah okay so, so then the yeah. next question which is i'm really excited about this one is 2024 the year of overt military actions publicly seen and known? Okay, for that one, and since that's a yes or no, I'm going to grab my pendulum. Okay, from the highest truth. I'll reframe it to ask the cards too, because I'm curious. Is 2024 a year of overt military action around the world where we see a shifting of the a shifting of the hands of power? Yes or no? It's being super like secretive with me. So it's like, maybe <laughs> so hmm. I feel How like at we least ask in the it? States, is it in the United, does it, is it the United States first and does it kick off the rest of the world? I kind of feel like what it was, what I'm getting from that is like, it's already happening. So that's why I'm not getting the strong swing. I'm getting kind of a circular thing and it's letting me know it's like, well, you're asking the question wrong because there's already many yeah, but- we mean overt public so costs. like the the public knows about it not well over right so and i said that so there's there's a lot of overt ops like israel overt op ukraine over people op. don't like, know they're overt though well people are looking at if you're looking at it through the mainstream media lens no you think it's just war yeah. you don't realize that so there's maybe, maybe the awkward. question is is 2024 the year of like collective public overt military action where it's like broadcast everywhere okay let's ask the cards yeah okay there's like a part of me that's just like just say yes Therese come on (laughs) (laughs) trying to be I'm trying to be detached (laughs) yeah exactly and not um what I don't want to influence it with my will no but I also wanted to just be like direct but you know sometimes I'm not right sometimes they say I'm not quite seeing it right so totally it makes sense and you don't we don't want to be biased but it would be a cool timeline right like (laughs) right it's like I feel like it's pretty obvious um what direction it's heading in but at the same time um at the same time we need to like be open to the surprise that it's going to unfold in a way that maybe you're not thinking like you're not thinking as strategically as they are they're very strategic in how they're doing this okay um so on the mental level i don't think that i don't think that on the so I'm asking as a collective, the collective doesn't quite get it yet. It still looks like World War Three 
in mm. the beginning to them. Mm. So they're, they're like, why haven't we learned from the past? They're not seeing that there is right. two, two to three layers to everything that's happening. Like, for example, one of the things that we hear about is that Netanyahu, who is Israeli prime minister, might be actually deep state oriented. And so part of this is like he actually set up the attack on his own country. Um, and so part of it is like one layer is possibly clearing that out Two, There are terrorists like mm-hmm. there, there's a real terrorist group that has to be, yeah. you know, dismantled and, and taken apart. There's other terrorist cells that will also like emerge. There's many things going on and innocent people caught in this thing that shouldn't, you know, like that are the question is how many innocents are really involved? Is that being exaggerated? Is it being underplayed? Like what is going on? And, you know, part of it too, is there's another operation going on, which is to expose Mm -hmm. the people in other countries who are hidden, who have now come out and feel very safe coming out to declare, you know, their wish for genocide, Mm -hmm. which is negative that's a negative i don't care yeah. what side it is yeah if that's what you're wishing for you're not on the side of the light no right so this is like again it's a covert op of making them feel like it's okay to say the, the things that they've been hiding now they're mm-hmm. saying now you're now you can see where they're at they're in you know some of them are in college campuses some of them are like mixed in with the general yeah. public like where and where they're located because yeah. where they're located is where they're doing their thing so in a way it's sort of like this weird dog whistle to call them out of hiding yeah, totally. and that's another layer of it so it's it's really wild but again from the collective perspective it just looks like war mm-hmm. but not war that has a strategic desire to end all war it looks like just another one yeah. at the mental level right now. All right. Um, let's see. Then we've got the princess of swords showing up in reverse and she's talking about this, um, on the physical plane. And she's talking about a sudden departure, uh, something leaves quickly. Um, or actually, no, that's, that's nice. She's talking about bad news suddenly showing up. So on the physical plane, I mean, it depends on how you interpret this really. So the fact that people are seeing it means you're seeing it Mm -hmm. and how it's being processed by the collective is what I'm getting. So this is like, again, on the collective level, it seems like for some people, this feels really out of the blue. They're really kind of thinking like none of this is affecting us or they're not connected in enough so they're not paying attention to world events and maybe feeling like they're separated from it somehow and they're going to get that really um upsetting news that it's actually right in your backyard so i feel like this is Mm -hmm. the draft which i still haven't done a reading on yet um but we need to talk about that because that's one of the components of the scare event is like it's going to come to your house Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't mean like literally everyone's house, but who knows? Like what's most effective if you want to give people a nightmare and wake them up? Yeah. You know, what's the most effective way to do that? Involve them directly. Directly. Yeah, exactly. Right. Make it their problem. Suddenly, you know, now I care a lot about this. Now I'm going to pay a lot of attention to it because, because, um, it's in my face now and mm-hmm. it's in my hands. And now suddenly I, I have a lot to say about it. Right. So this yeah. is one of the ways it wakes us up. So yes, I do feel like things go overt. I don't think it's interpreted as, um, a counter offensive, like mm-hmm. that's been going on for a long time. I think collectively it's not, I think those who are paying attention or looking for that are going to see it. You're going to be like, mm-hmm. Holy crap. Like mm-hmm. that was literally written out in 2017 I I remember reading about that now here it is right so you'll see it it's not interpreted by the collective as covert ops or overt ops and then on the spiritual plane we've got the hierophant which talks about like the lesson hitting home Mm. on the spiritual plane the lesson hits home it's like message received this is the spiritual teacher card um so it's about receiving these spiritual lessons and people dial it in they're like got it don't want that 
got it. This is my problem. Like I am not so disconnected from the other side of the world as I might like to think I am right. Just because it's not in my face every day doesn't mean it's not going to like, it's it's not going to affect me. It will affect you. And you're going to feel all the ways that it affects you. And this is meant to, again, remind people of something that the ego in this plane has really done a number on. And that is create this illusion of separation that somehow none of this, you know, deep state doesn't affect me. Yeah, it does. Like it's literally affecting more aspects of your life. Yeah. then you know if if you're not paying attention mm-hmm. right this didn't happen all of a sudden and it wasn't just like it didn't just slip in it's yeah. been here the whole time and now yeah. it's like people are going to get it's going to get personal but it's also going to wake people up to that you know we've got to stop this mm-hmm. and i think that's the only way that we stop it is when we realize there is no one that wins at war nobody mm-hmm. wins no you know exactly. Um, and we have to evolve past being a, a species that's so territorial and so um, bellicose, right? We have to stop making this about like power over anybody. You can't have power over anybody if everybody's sovereign, yeah, right? And exactly. that's the truth. So it's sort of waking up to all of that that I see yeah. coming in. I love that. So we'll ask one more question. We have time for one more because we have about five minutes left. And okay. then, so yeah, we'll have to come back to the chunks of the year and the karma question next time. Cause I feel like this one will just be faster to answer. Okay. Will there end up being a 2024 presidential election in the United States because of all of this stuff? Mm. Okay. Let's start with the pendulum on that one. Okay. From the highest truth. Will there be a presidential election in 2024? Yes or no. Yes. But I think the Argentina thing is like the, that was the thing we needed. We needed proof that it can be done because now we can point to something direct and be like, we all know this can be done. Mm -hmm. Uh, I do feel like military might have to intervene on this because I know that we have some states that are trying to make it illegal Mm -hmm. to hand count ballots, which is bullshit. That you have to use a machine. It's like, "Mm, what if there's no power? Yeah, what if exactly. there's no power? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, but We're not stupid now. We know still count by hand by you know generated light. So yeah, um, let's just take a quick look at the election with the. All right, so team and spirit guides, angels, and masters, give us a, give us an energy read on the 2024 presidential election. Like what what happens for us? Okay. Hmm. So there is like some weird, like, uh, physical world interference that happens. Like if we feel like the, the power source of it isn't there, like it, it feels like something's being blocked on a spiritual level, but also on the physical level, this shows up as like, Uh, there's a blockage, something is supposed to be initiated that doesn't actually go through. Um, So I feel like there is a bit of like a kerfuffle (laughs) around this with this Mm -hmm. card here. Um, Yeah, the original plan for the the original plan for the um, election doesn't happen, but something else feels like it happens. In the meantime, that causes people to feel like we're out of power. I think there's an oh shit moment that comes mm-hmm. with this. Right. Like, I do feel like there might be like, we'll see maybe even a, a coup, not a coup from the good guys, but a a kind of pull of like, um, we're not going to have this mm-hmm. right now because war. Oh, and yeah. my team just put a thumbs up on the yeah. thing. <laughs> what? <sighs> oh. Um. So yeah, there's this game that they're going to play where they're going to maybe even try to say like, it can't happen right now. Kind of like Zelensky did in the Ukraine. I think they might try to pull that, especially if things look like they're not going to be in their favor. I think they're going to try to pull a fast one. Um, That's where the military comes in. And then we've got in the spiritual plane, new information comes out, like a ton of information comes out. I think people 
finally put two and two together and they were like, holy crap, there really was election interference. You know what I mean? In 2020 and 2016, like maybe the whole time, mm -hmm. all the way back to like the first time I can mm -hmm. remember, which would have been around uh, the book, the Bush Gore thing, mm -hmm. you know, all the way back then. So people are putting the pieces together. Good. Um, but there is a physical disruption, literally everything on that says, uh, is discs, which is physical plane. There's some kind of physical intervention around it, but we do get our election, but it's going to be weird, gonna real be spicy. Weird. Oh goodness. Yeah. Of course it is. What else is new? Yeah. Right. I know. It's like, can we just move? Forward? Yeah. Can we just, we just have forward. a win. Just, we no, just want the wins. We, part of this is for us to fight for it. If we don't fight for it, yeah. we're basically saying this is okay. For but sure. I think that people will be fighting. So. I agree hundred percent. So this was great. We'll do part two, maybe next week and go into sure. like more depth with the, the three parts of the year and the karma. And yeah, cause I, I really think it, it'll be cool to read into the different parts of the year based on what else just came up today. Yeah. Thank for you sure. to the cards and to you and our teams for providing guidance in the universe. So where can everyone find you if they want to learn more about your work? Yeah. So right now you can go to blithestarlight.com. Um, there is a huge sale. Go, there's a Ooh. private sale happening in my shop right now. It's 60% off, but you have to join the mailing list to get the code. So okay. if you want that, people are getting uh, psychic readings for 60% off right now. Like I know. <laughs> and they figured it out. So like a whole bunch of people are booking up in my calendar. So if you mm -hmm. want to be one of those, uh, definitely go to my website and anywhere that you sign up, we'll put you on my list. And then you can also check me out on my YouTube channel, which is at Blythe Starlight, where I will be doing this week's karma cards, to tell you what the heck is going on in energy. And with that, Amber, how about you? How can we work with you and get our nervous system under control during this time? Right. If you need some adrenal support and we need to do some hormone testing and help you feel more calm, grounded, energized, then you can click the link below to book a body freedom consultation as well. You can listen to the podcast and there's some other things available to support you on your journey to help you through this time, because the more we stick together and help each other. The, the little bit easier it's going to be. So yes, yeah. if we stay grounded, yes. you'll be good. You, exactly. you can ride this out, but you definitely yes. want someone like Amber in your corner, helping guide you and giving you tools and support so that you can move through this and not like find yourself like in the corner crying yeah. every other day because exactly. it's going to be intense. <laughs> it's going to be a roller coaster. So buckle yeah. up. Well, thank you so much, everyone for joining us. If you have any yes. topics you want to see, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, have a beautiful rest of your day and we'll see you next week for the next Bye. episode. Take care. Mm -hmm.